important growth and insight and pondering moments on how I want to proceed with the project. Um, when I started the project, I wanted the, one of the goals was to become a better potter. And part of that, most of that at that time was, I just need to know how to throw well. I need to get the techniques I need. I need to understand clay a little better. And I think after the six months, I'm getting a hang of it. Obviously, like Simon Leach says, keep practicing it. I mean, you got to keep practicing in order to get better. And I get better at the things that I feel are going to help me. Um, certain things are not as important to me to learn right now, and there's so many techniques and so many things I could possibly try and do at one time, there's no way I can do them all at once. So I'm tackling them by how important I feel they are to what I want to accomplish at the end. But um, anyway, Mary Kuzik referred me to Pete Pinnell who, for glazing, actually. So I looked his name up on Google, and I found a 32-minute video that just fired me up about cups. It's 32 minutes and that's what he's talking about is cups. How they're, how people perceive them differently, how one cup is great for one but not another. Men and women hold them differently. Textured handles are different for certain people. People want to feel them. Some people want to see them. It's just, it's a really great video and I'm going to put the link below so you can watch. But what it caused me to do was go in and look at the glass kiln opening I had and test my own cups. I want to experience what I've made. Interesting, interesting find. The one that I thought was the most beautiful doesn't fit well in my hand, but it fits well in my husband's hand. One of the cups, a white cup, has got little green lines on it. And um, I put water in it. It's not as super comfortable, but it's not uncomfortable. It's just a cup. It's not like, wow, this feels great. But when I put water and ice in it and I looked inside, it made my water look beautiful. It was just so pretty to look at what was inside my cup. That if I needed to drink water, I'd probably grab that one, not for the comfort, comfort, but more for how it made me feel to look at what was inside. So I'd like to start creating cups that make me feel happy, and I say happy because of Sharon posting on Facebook that uh, a student had asked her once, how do you like what I made? And she came back and asked, does it make you feel happy? And the student smiled and said, yeah, it makes me feel happy. Well, those are the kind of cups I think I want to create for myself. I'm still learning skills, I'm still learning uh, te uh, techniques, and I still want the critiquing. I want someone to say, you know, it would have been easier if you would have done that. I sure, I do appreciate that a lot. I'm just taking it to a different place. I make more than one cup a day, and I'll pick out the one I like the best that is the most interesting for that video, for that cup for the day. And um, I hope you guys are enjoying the clips, and I'm excited about the new direction it's taking. And even though a throw might not go well, the end, re end result may actually be pretty good. So, hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started.